My name is Jason Rivera, and I'm a junior at UW-Madison, studying biology and psychology. I'm also a member of RISE, the national student-led... Am I doing it wrong way? This way. Hello. Hello. I'm also a member of RISE, the national student-led nonprofit that organizes for free college and student food and housing security, and also part of the Wisconsin Poor People's Campaign. Now, sometimes people think students are being spoiled, uh, students are being spoiled or carefree and party all the time. I want to share that this is far from the reality that I have experienced myself and seen for other students. Even with a full ride scholarship for my tuition, I have faced food insecurity, housing insecurity, and even had to drop out of school for a semester because I couldn't make ends meet. Ugh. Going into my second th uh, semester of sophomore year, I lost my seasonal job, and by this point, I had already signed a lease here in Madison. Shortly after, they took away my EBT and healthcare. Um, because I had been earning too much of my seasonal job. Uh, this made things especially difficult since I now only had my Pell Grant to rely on to help with living expenses, books, and everything besides tuition. Unfortunately, they only gave me $2,000 per semester because they determined that my family's contribution was $6,000 per semester. Ooh. Uh, there was no way they could give me $6,000. They were barely getting by themselves. They didn't have $6,000 themselves. That $2,000 is essentially a few months of rent, and I was supposed to make it last for eight months. I had to work while being in school to make up the difference, but when I lost my job, there was no way for me to keep going to school and pay for all my bills. I had to drop a semester and pretty much just eat like a bowl of rice or whatever I could scrounge up for the day. <laughs> kind of kind of terrible, actually. Everything is overpriced in a college town, and you know, it just made it more difficult. I was barely 19 years old, and I had to focus on what am I eating tomorrow? Do I take out another credit card to pay for my rent? These aren't 19-year-old problems. I have friends that were even worse off than me as well. Tuition should be free for all people, and we should support the students to be able to focus on their classes while they are in school. We literally saw it was possible and saw that it could be added into the budget. Now, many of the supports for students have been removed from the Build Black Better bill, including significantly reducing the original expansion of the Pell Grant that I and other students depend on. You need to agree, uh, you need to, agree to earn a livable wage now, and, but besides that, you know, we need people to do these jobs. We need engineers, we need teachers, nurses, and yes, psychiatrists that's like I right. Pay. Woo -hoo! We should support people pursuing higher education and cutting these investments from the plan is wrong. I am the cost of cutting higher education from the Build Back Better bill. <clears throat> I also want to talk today about the immigration provisions that are in this bill. Like the funding for higher education, the proposals have been shrunken and beaten back over and over again. My mom has a green card now, but growing up, she and some of my other family members were undocumented. Mm. I had and still have to watch them struggle between jobs and not being able to live the life they want and deserve to live, actually. Growing up, my mom had no choice but to work 11 hours a day. My siblings and I wouldn't see anyone after school. Do you know how that kind of overwork hurts children and families? In the Poor People's Campaign, we are demanding full citizenship immediately for all 11 million undocumented people. Woohoo! Woo With citizenship, people could better support themselves. They might not have to think about, can I feed my kids? Will I be taken advantage of at job, at my work? Will they pay me? Will my landlord kick me out? Everything is insecure when you are undocumented. It is torture to constantly feel unsure like that. So what is currently left in the bill for us, or for them, actually, I'm thankfully documented, a temporary, a temporary protection for some people. This only gives a shred of security that is not enough. It is the absolute minimum, and we must do more. Families like mine are the cost of cutting the path to full citizenship for all 11 million from the Build Back Better plan. I am proud to stand here with everyone today to call on our senators, both Ron Johnson and Tammy Baldwin, to do what is right for the people of Wisconsin. When we lift from the bottom, we all rise. Yes. Woohoo! Yes. Yes. yes! You say it! That is all I have to say. Yes, Jason! Woohoo! Go, Jason!